Hello again, brothers and sisters in Christ. It's still Sunday, March 29th. It's 4.23 p.m. Boy, I'm loving this Dana more and more. I just, she, I agree 100% with what she says so far. And remember what I said at the end of the last video that she wanted to do more videos on spirituality. And I didn't know what kind of spirituality. Well, okay, first, well, let me back up. The link that I put, hmm, sun must have went into a cloud. That's my only light source right now. Um, the link was changed, but not only that, when I went to her channel, that video was removed. So it's already down. I'm sorry. I knew it wouldn't last. That's why I went ahead and put it up, hoping it would stay up another day or two. Anyway, I clicked on a video that was first under videos. And I don't know why, but it's from 2017, but it doesn't matter. I want to play you just this little part. And then I'm going to link this one. It should go. It's been around since October 9th, 2017, and has a million one hundred and seventeen thousand seven hundred and fifty seven views. And so far... Uh, I've heard most of it, and I'm backed up. I want you to listen to this little part, and then that's it for me. I want you to go and listen to her. And some of you said you're, or somebody said they're already subscribed to her. And yeah, I can't find that video on her channel anywhere. So I guess they took it down. Well, you know, they just don't want you to know the truth about the F-I-V-G-E and the C-V-1-9 and the interrelation and what it's going to do in the fall. What I've been telling you, that's what she talked about. Okay, listen to this. Oh, this... Uh, she was while she was talking there was a whole list of uh, groups that make up the I guess you'd call the shadow government I'm not sure the word she used and sure enough the Knights of Columbus was in it I had not been seeing that see I I keep my eye out for that because my dad was in it and when he built us a house, he built the whole basement with the black and white checks. But I never saw him in any of that garb they put on when they have meetings. So I don't think he was very high up. And we didn't have money. So that's probably why. He was probably like your guy that just joined Masons and he's at level one. Well, he might have been a little higher up because... His parents were huge and, and all that. They wanted him to be a priest. Which is why they hated my mom. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. Um, I just hope that last year of his life, when after Mama died, when my brother took him to his church with him every Sunday, that... Um, he truly learned what it meant to be loved by the Lord and that he truly, truly accepted him as his Savior. Anyway, let me hit play and let you hear her for just a few minutes. And um, if you're not familiar with Dana, I think you will enjoy being subscribed to her very much. Who may not worship Lucifer, of course, but there are definitely people in the higher echelons of the New World Order system that know exactly what they're doing. And remember, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Okay, this is a spiritual war. We've been riding the beast a long time. In Revelation 17 16, it says very clearly the beast and the ten horns you saw will hate the prostitute. They will bring her to ruin and leave her naked. They will eat her flesh and burn her with fire. Pretty 
pretty harsh. It's a pretty harsh prophecy. That's why she's talking about America. America is the prostitute that rides the beast, the whore that rides the beast. The Lord has been pressing upon me so much to get it out to you because most people don't understand the true meaning of it. So the beast throws the whore under the bus. And this is one reason why I don't think it'll be a Vatican or Rome because they are part of the beast system. They aren't going down, okay? They're going to be here until the Lord himself casts them into the lake of fire. I do believe that the Pope will be the false prophet. doesn't matter who I think the Antichrist is. You probably already know it, but um, we may not even get a chance to see that because many of us will be nuked to smithereens. Sounds like she doesn't believe in a pre-tribulation or even early tribulation rapture. <laughs> I don't believe that. Okay, so we don't agree there. She said, some of us will be martyrs and some will be protected, Revelation 12, in the wilderness in order that we help bring more to Christ. Well, I firmly believe that, that after the bride and those some others that Christ talked about when he, I got a message after that original two rapture message, I got a message that after, when the bride goes up, it'll be the bride, the children, and some others. That's what he worded it. Probably those who are trying really hard to be ready, that love him, love one another, you're forgiving people. You just weren't, for whatever reason, ready to be a bride, but you're loving him. And... Um, you know, we serve a merciful God, and he's, I just don't believe he's going to leave us here to be nuked. You know, even if we were, the death would be so quick for most people that phew, you're here one minute and you're in heaven the next. So there's nothing to fear either way, but from the way I understand scripture, um, what I've already preached, which is scriptures in my message or in a link with the message of the two raptures, it just, I just don't see us, the, the church of Philadelphia being here. I believe that's the bride and some others. Okay, let me go on. Anyway, I digress. <laughs> um... People like Trump are setting up a majority of people who call themselves believers, people who call themselves Christians. They think that he is walking with the Lord. They think that he's here to save America. What you have to realize is that... She shows a picture here of William Casey, the CIA director in 1981. We'll know our disinformation program... Sorry. We'll know our disinformation program is complete when everything the American public believes is false. William Casey, CIA Director, 1981. We are living in a time of the great delusion. We are living in total and complete lies. Your history that you learn in school is lies. What the TV tells you on the news is lies. It's all lies. Trump was selected, not elected, selected. Mm -hmm. And here's the thing. What is the goal of the New World Order? The goal of the New World Order is one world government. They want no religion except theirs, which is love everybody and everything's cool. No borders, which is... No nations anymore, no presidents. They'll be talking about peace and security and equal human rights and loving each other. So think about it. What is Trump? What is Trump? People think Trump is, is a Christian nationalist. But I would argue that the man ain't walking like Jesus, okay? We're told pride comes before the fall. Have you seen a more prideful person? Um, 
you don't say I'm going to blow up a country to smithereens if you're really walking with him. You can't even be involved in politics at this level if you're doing what the Bible commands. You just can't because it's the beast system. Mm -hmm. So Trump was selected as the perfect person to create. Pope versus Trump. Symbol of whom? I will. Worship the Pope's holding up a cross. That's a lie. Symbol of whom I worship. Trump's holding up a T. Well, this was in 2017, and I know that he's allowed people to pray for him and over him, and I know what a lot like she's saying. What she, what she is saying has not really changed a lot. Anyway, let me play just one little bit more and then I'll end it. Hey, what? We know that they're going to persecute Christians. It says it all over. To create animosity towards Christians. To create animosity towards anyone who wants to have national boundaries. So, when America falls on the watch of a Christian nationalist and the world is like, Oh, no! People think we can never fall. With the budget that we have for the military, who would think? Okay, I'm going to end it there. Cause she's going on to that. But anyway, um, this is We Are Mystery Babylon Part 1. Amer well, Americans must watch We Are Mystery Babylon Part 1. So somewhere there is a Part 2. All right, I will link this in the description box for those of you who care to listen to the rest of it. Um, she says, pure, unadulterated Bible prophecy means truth or movement. Take one. Thanks, and welcome to all my new subscribers. Wow. Um... 180,000 subscribers way back then. I never, never knew of her. Where, where, where have you been? <laughs> where have I been? I don't know, but I subscribed. And I look forward to hearing more of what she has to say. Um, not that I'm going to put her on a pedestal. I put nobody on a pedestal. I just want to hear, I want to hear stuff about more than the COVID you know what. I want to hear stuff like this, and I hope you do too. Okay, I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and the internet connection, and over myself and my computer, and over each and every one of you, and your devices, your internet connections, and um, I pray this video goes up, and nothing happens to it, and I'm sorry the other one got taken down. It was really good stuff that you needed to hear. All lies. That what we're being told is all lies. Anyway, I can't get into it or I'll, I want this to go up. All right. Bye for now. Talk to you later.